Today, you will learn how successful people play this game we call life, a game we are so serious about. Today's message will illustrate the easiest way to manifest and attract the desired outcomes into existence. Whether you like to read books on success, read quotes, or just watch videos, you will always find that one thing is in common. You have to become it. You don't try to become it. You become it. You become the person you aspire to be with all the things associated with that person. And you become it in your mind without a shadow of a doubt. Jesus was among the first men who understood this. He had an unwavering faith in God or the universe or the force, call it as you like, it's just a word. Jesus understood that God operates in now, in the present moment, and in now, you can only become. You can't hope or wish. By becoming the person you want to be in the present moment, you emit a very different frequency than in wishing or wanting. When you wish for something, you're basically saying you don't have it, not right now, and you emit a frequency of lack. And the universe loving you infinitely is always here by your side, answering to your frequency, giving you more and more and more of what you emit. So today, you will learn how the most successful people play this super easy game called life. But before we do, I invite you to subscribe to our channel and become a valuable part of our beautiful community. So let's start with Jesus. It's very obvious that Jesus didn't aspire to become a rich man. He understood he could have everything, and that is the exact reason money wasn't his first priority. He understood everything so well. He tried to convince people around him not to worry about their future or regret their past. He tried to bring people into the present moment, a point of their power. That's why he said, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Let the day's own trouble be sufficient for the day. He also understood that your current circumstances were created by you, by your state of being. Your current circumstances are the reflection of what you were thinking and feeling in your past. Jesus knew that very well. That's why he said, give to everyone who begs from you and of him who takes away your goods, do not ask them again. And as you wish that men would do to you, do so to them. If you manifested this life situation, don't complain now. All you can do now is to focus on your desired outcome like it's already yours. Jesus understood this concept. He knew that the force was always with him and that his wishes would always be granted. That's why he said, So I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Search and you will find, knock, and the door will be opened for you. The difference between Jesus and the average person is in the degree of trust and belief in this force we call God. The stronger the belief, the faster the manifestation. Jesus knew that being present and creating from the present was the only way. He wanted everyone to be like him. So he said to the people, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. He said we should do what he did. He didn't ask for glorification, for followers, and for statues. He just wanted to help us create the kingdom of heaven here on earth. He was a nice guy, this Jesus, don't you think? We won't be able to go through the lives of all successful people, even though they all did the same thing. But there was a man you probably know he became the best in the world. His name is Muhammad Ali. I don't know if he understood the rules of the game as well as Jesus did, but he applied them very well. So he said, if my mind can conceive it, if my heart can believe it, then I can achieve it. Muhammad Ali acted as if he already was the person he aspired to be. He believed that God was on his side and it helped him. He wanted to be the best in the world in what he did. So he became the best in the world in the present moment, even before it was official. If you don't believe me, 
Listen to his statement. I am the greatest. I said that even before I knew I was. He was very convinced that he was the best. When doubt disappeared, the universe confirmed his statement. Sometimes it seems Muhammad Ali likes to brag, but it isn't bragging if you really mean it. Usually the loudest ones are the people who don't believe in themselves, so they have to glorify themselves to make others believe them. But Muhammad Ali wasn't one of them. He really believed what he was saying, and his life is the evidence of that. We won't waste words on Abraham Lincoln. You all know who he was. He was also among the few who understood what life is and how to play it successfully. You can see that from the following statement. Most folks are as happy as they make up their minds to be. Lincoln knew that you have to give yourself happiness first in your mind, and then the universe will just keep confirming your state of mind. He also understood that there is a slight delay between this moment and the moment of manifestation. He wasn't like Jesus, manifesting instantly, but he believed his manifestation would come. That's why he said, I will prepare and someday my chance will come. Lincoln knew that success or anything else you aspire to have is not a coincidence, but a decision. We can conclude that from the following statement, always bear in mind that your own resolution to succeed is more important than any other. Henry Ford also knew the rules of life and creation. He knew that your state of mind and your beliefs determine your whole life. Henry Ford knew that hard work, struggles and enduring great pain weren't a cause for success. Only your state of mind is. So he said, if you think you can do a thing or think you can't do a thing, you're right. Whatever you believe it's true for you, you will attract into your life. Being disciplined and engaging in conscious creation engages your effort. It isn't hard, but you will have to take time and create consciously, or else you will have just random experiences that match your state of lack. Henry Ford knew that, so he said, thinking is the hardest work there is, which is probably the reason why so few engage in it. Warren Buffett is a rich and successful guy. We can all agree on that. No matter what you think about him or the way he acquired his fortune, his statements reveal that he understood the rules of creation. Once he said, someone is sitting in the shade today because someone planted a tree a long time ago. He doesn't mean on a real tree, he is talking about a seed in your mind. Someone once became the person he aspired to be, and so today, the universe confirmed his state of being, giving him opportunities to gain that fortune and success. He understood the power of becoming it in the present moment. Like Muhammad Ali, Buffett also knew he would be rich without a shadow of a doubt. Hence his saying, I always knew I was going to be rich. I don't think I ever doubted it for a minute. Notice the difference between the way of thinking of a successful person and the average person. Notice this and you will understand the rules. The only difference between you and Warren Buffett is the degree of your belief in success. I hope you find this information interesting. If that's the case, subscribe to our channel and never miss our new transformative videos. Buddha was also a fascinating guy, very like Jesus. He also knew that he could have everything. That's why he didn't care so much about money and earthly success. He was more focused on his spirituality. But he understood the concept of creation and he was very willing to share his knowledge with the people around him. So he said, do not dwell in the past do not dream of the future. Concentrate the mind on the present moment. Like Jesus, he knew that your power lies in the eternal present moment. He knew that the secret wasn't wanting or hoping, but becoming. Buddha said that only you can change your life. Without playing your part, 
The universe can't grant you your wishes. You have to say it in your mind very clearly. You have to become it so that the universe can send you the experiences that match your state of being. Hence his saying, no one saves us but ourselves. No one can and no one may. We ourselves must walk the path. So never pray in despair, pray in thankfulness. Ever heard about Arnold Schwarzenegger? You won't be too surprised with his statement. I knew I was a winner back in the late 60s. I knew I was destined for great things. People will say that kind of thinking is totally immodest. I agree. Modesty is not a word that applies to me in any way. I hope it never will. It's true that we should be good people, respecting others, and never do them harm. But modesty is not a virtue. Religions train you to be modest so they can control you easily. But a successful person is not controlled. A successful person controls life, consciously and with the help of God or the universe. Schwarzenegger also understands that his mind creates reality and his circumstances, and he just rejects any notion of lack, doubt, modesty, or stress. That's why he states, I welcome and seek your ideas, but do not bring me small ideas. Bring me big ideas to match our future. Unlike the average person, he just refuses to be focused on small things. Can you see the correlation between his state of mind and the life he lives? You still think that you are so special that only you are unable to manifest great things in your life. We only went through the life philosophies of a few successful and powerful people. We could have chosen any other successful people. It would make no difference. This video is the practical example that it's your state of mind that determines your reality, your state of mind in the present moment. In other words, becoming the person you want to be right now in the present moment. That's the rule of living a successful life. When you receive something you say, you got a gift or a present. Well, the present moment is God's gift to you. It's a point of your power. Becoming the person you strive to be in the present moment is the ultimate state of manifestation. If you feel this information in your soul, support us by subscribing to our channel and becoming a part of our community. Be well, don't hope, and become whoever you want to become. It's your time.